Oh my god. <laughs> Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves some brand new content to check out from Jaden Animations, and it is titled, I Attempted a Two-Player Nuzlocke. If you guys don't know who Jaden Animations is, what in the blue hell is wrong with you? Go subscribe to that channel right now. Her content is A++++, my friend. Links to all stuff will be in the description down below. Let's see what takes place here, man. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. Yep. Oh, buddy. Yep. The same Nuzlocke rules. However, yep. your Pokemon are linked, which means oh. if my starter dies, player two starter also dies. Oh no! Can't do anything about it. Plus, we can only have one primary typing for both of our teams combined. So Ooh. if I catch a water type and add it to my team, person two can't have a water type at all on their Oh team. no! All Pokemon are randomized. I can walk into the grass at any point <gasps> and accidentally find God. And maybe it's randomized too? So with all these things <laughs> in place, I needed to find a player too. One who's a real Pokemon master, able to okay. advise and strategize all at the drop of a hat. And She's really going all out with this. Master himself, Jacob Alpharad. Oh! Jacob Alpharad, baby. Here we go. <laughs> Here's our Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Soul Link, Nuzlocke. Oh my god. Oh no! Professor Elm's Lab to see what Pokemon he's got for us because <laughs> Jeez. In case you forgot what I just said. Yep. To him and he pats Jacob on the Everything's eyes. randomized. Here, choose from these three. I picked them specially for you. Torterra, <laughs> oh. Tentacruel, or Ludicolo. What the hell? Alright, what do I get? Why not Mankey Ariadus? <laughs> so, Mankey takes Torterra and I take Mankey. <laughs> and right on our oh my god. Into a Reggie Rock in a random patch of grass, which oh. just explodes on him. No one died, luckily, but also, <laughs> oh my god, we get an egg, and immediately wow. Professor Elm calls and tells us he's been robbed and bullied. That was a close call. Really that explosion could have ended things right too. there. On our way back to have a grown adult, we stumble onto a shady figure who scoffs yep. and challenges us. Yep, none other than silver. ...when he stole from Elm, which we immediately win. Scoffs again, <laughs> then drops his wallet, passport, credit card, driver's license, social security, target gift card on the ground in front of us. <laughs> for the world to see... Get your craps together. You can't be a wanted fugitive. Back in the lab, oh the my crime, god. The police and our neighbor are trying to comfort him. And the police asks us. I love Jaden. Suspicious. <laughs> yes. We saw his info. Now here we get to name yep. our rival. Jacob and I try to think of someone that we both shared some sort of rivalry with. When we remembered oh. a certain professional Pokemon Nuzlocke has been consistently reacting and critiquing our Nuzlocke so far. Oh. Some of his comments were... More critical than others. Okay. Directed at one of us more than the other. Mr. Policeman, his name is Jan. Hi, Jan. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if you can destroy us from the inside out. Anyway, okay. Takes us out to some grass to I don't know who they're referring to. Runs into Articuno, catches it in a Pokeball in the green, and turns what? and goes, See? Just like that. You're sh- Wow. And we can finally start our journey. We both That's one lucky trainer right, right, right there. <laughs> Thing. So yeah. Had Pokeballs, Houndoom was not getting in the ball no matter what. He was not having any of that. You know, it's alright. There's plenty more encounters <laughs> like Hop It Farfetch that Jacob accidentally kills. Oh no. Or Jacob Gyarados oh. that Jacob accidentally kills. Or what? Or Charizard that Jacob accidentally kills. Oh my and god. This, and Jacob gets all this. And why do you keep killing him, Jacob? <laughs> Finally, in the ruins of Elf, we managed That's to good him. luck for encounters. Bad luck for trying to catch him. Try to name them Michael, but both misspell it. So welcome to the team, Michaels. <laughs> then on Brother Two, we catch Totodile Beedrill, which is also pretty All right. good, mainly for just me. We started combining the nice. Pokemon to create their names, so we ended up somehow with Bedrodo. We ran into <laughs> a trainer who had a freaking Palky on his team. Fun fact: Did you know if you Google Palky a type weakness, Google will tell you that he's weak to fairy. And Salamence? No other dragon. What? Salamence. So Jacob and I started. Just Salamence. Every time we saw 
saw, Palkia. Good to oh, know. No, if only I had a salamence. <laughs> uh oh, don't have a salamence. Over here. <laughs> What's we she doing up Palkia there? Palkia, as we ran into, but that didn't stop us from bullying every single one. So we got done following. Oh my Palkia, god. Who has Kyogre Bronzar? And Metagross Dragonair. Oh my, oh my god. After a lot of difficulty, we both managed to beat him with no casualties. I don't know how that happened, but hey, everyone. Don't know how that happened. happened. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. How about some encounters to lighten the mood? Oh, wow. Hello, Shuckle Suicune. <laughs> that Jacob accidentally kills. And is oh my Jacob, god. Who luckily wasn't as Jacob? And as we step outside, Jan, who is surprised we haven't been to Mawa. Oh, Mawa, there's... Too, there he is again. Mawa, which we also win. <laughs> we run into Maw Wild Deoxys in the forest, who someone accidentally kills. And make How run does he run, run into all those and legendaries and strong-ass Pokemon? To, which I'm ecstatic about. Oh, nice! He turns to Jacob and gives him Reggie Gigas. Which we can't use because they're both normal types. <sighs> of all the legends you had to get, of course you get the only normal type besides actual god. We beat Whitney and it's Oh my god. Which we named Plap. I pitched to Jacob <sighs> I'm willing to trade the Bedrodos to make room for this new pair. So we I am honestly... Flappy, which we shake I am just absolutely Plap, astounded. And then my Plap immediately almost gets <sighs> killed. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, uh, that's not good. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. <laughs> I hope I hope she's able to catch it. Sorry, my bad. We find Dragonair Shuppet, which is an actually insane pair we could use right away. Oh! But, yeah, I ended up killing that one. No! Sorry, Jacob. It is harder than it looks to catch these things. We pour water on the strange trees on Rapid. Jaden! Trees that actually turn out to be Cradily Silcoon. We kind of named them Dilly Doo and could have added what? them to the team as Death Fodder, but we ended up forgetting to. Which is, yeah, pretty sweet. Oh my god! That's the worst that could happen. Who needs Death Fodder in a Nuzlocke? Jacob and I made well, I don't know, man. Tower. As we were about to go down there, Jan runs up and is like, You're only trying to catch Suicune to make yourselves look stronger than you actually are. And we're like, No, we killed him a while ago but he still wanted to battle probably to show off the mew he somehow found we beat him oh. again got out <laughs> of scare off the yep. dogs and go challenge morty <laughs> jacob didn't have any trouble for the team morty had for him no me, i was having a bit of a harder time because uh. he had a lugia which neither me nor my team could even handle. All I could do was what? team it with Plap and pray I don't get crit one shot as Jacob just sits there watching. But it ended up working out. We oh my and climbed the god! The house, almost falling to our little <laughs> the way. We reached Jasmine at the top who's like, Climb back down and go get medicine for Amphi and Cianwood. And we were like, we almost died getting here. Surfing to Cianwood, we encountered Obama Snow Pupitar. Oh! And I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we did catch them. Obamatar joined the nice. team immediately, and suddenly we've got a pretty powerful lineup going on. Okay, so okay. The guy in town gifted us a Mewtwo and Weeping Bell. <laughs> Finally. Oh, oh, oh. the legend now. Jaden. Nicely done, girl. Two grass types. All of this oh. shared luck combined with our zero death win streak got us feeling pretty confident. Okay. Which naturally means it's time to get kicked in the throat. Yeah. By a black belt martial artist, gym leader Chuck was indescribably tough in the most bullcrap way possible. Uh oh. For me, Jacob had no trouble at all because he's Jacob. Of course, of really course not. Obama tar out for nothing <laughs> else on my team could really do anything against it. The main drawback <laughs> of this is Obama tar's snow warning ability, which creates hail, damaging every Pokemon, including my own. That's oh not my ice type, God. Which is pretty inconvenient in a Nuzlocke. I even made a. A teeny tiny comment about it when I first got him. I can, I can, I'm gonna call it. Snow is gonna kill one of my Pokemon. Oh, Kingdra no. goes down, and Chuck's only other Pokemon, he's only got two, is Frostlass. <gasps> who, if you don't know, what? Is Snow Cloak. Snow Cloak oh, is no! 20% harder to hit if there's hail. You wanna know how many <gasps> Pokemon in Gen 4 have this ability? Five. Three of which being Mamoswine. You wanna oh, know my God. In Heart Gold Soul Silver? 493. And that was back when weather was permanent. Already, but you know what this Frostlass does? She uses Ominous Wind. Ominous Wind has a 10% chance to boost every single stat of the user. She gets the stat boost twice in a row. Oh my god. God, After a lot of that is not I good. We both decided the best option for us would be to send in Mitchell as death fodder to heal up Plap because he's the only oh, one. Oh no! At this point, and what happens? 
please don't get another. No, 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 no. He's good. He's so good. He's no, no. Oh, of course, a crit. One shots my as soon as he comes out. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor camera up. He was so proud for making it out of Chase yep. Gym and then just falls over dead for no reason. I got plant yep. healed up and basically. There we go. The first pair of deaths. Sure isn't a simple <laughs> strategy, but. T t t Come on. After literally struggling against my own There's... luck for what felt like a Oh my god. Finally, He's just chilling. Goes down. Finally. Oh my god. She Jacob practically drags me out of the gym and we had trouble. <laughs> we decided to add a pair we caught back on Route 35. Oh my god. A Don fan named Darfell. A oh. fantastic duo. I was admittedly. And I think justifiably still really salty about what we just went through. I can imagine. Maybe that we should just move on. We got our Darfells leveled up and returned to all nice. the to feed Amphi the medicine that we picked up so Jasmine <laughs> would finally do her job. And yep. check this out. Already done. Another Lugia! <laughs> oh my god. How? Look at our 2 screens real quick. <laughs> now, yeah! She also had a Geoxys. We headed to Mel. Oh my god. Adding and Beberil named Barrel to the team, and in the Lake of Rage, Jacob caught a Kyogre paired with my Swalot. We never used oh. this pair, but I just wanted to mention it for reasons. We approach what the, the hell? shadow of the Lake Beast, activate the encounter, and find a shiny Bonerian uh. Dawn fan. Not, you know, the best, but what? Like three shiny Pokemon. Doesn't hurt to cat. Oh, I killed it. That's what the hell? Really Sorry. Jaden? That's a shiny fail right there. Grabs us by the wrist, kicks down the door to the Mahogany Town 7 That is a shoddy fail right there, my friend. And runs into the rocket hideout where he continues to wipe out any living organism he finds down there. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Copy him and beat up all the executives and their power generator. Right yeah. Right the golden rod, we pick up the seventh badge and then continue curb stomping to your rocket. <laughs> we were getting a bit too comfy though, and uh -oh. Jacob wasn't paying attention, mainly because he just got a chicken sandwich. Uh. Obama Tar was killed by a golem's earthquake. No! Oh no! no. That was a really bad blow and stung much more because we weren't paying attention. But we did have to move that on. That damn chicken it's sandwich. We were literally in the middle of a gang fight. We shoved our way to Rocket Executive and Big Boss Archer and give him a bit of a throat chop oh. so he would calm down and Ooh. stop doing whatever it is he was doing. And everyone wow. saved. On our way to Blackthorn, we catch Frost slash Corfish, which put oh. me into a vengeful trauma spiral. Oh no! Yeah. He caught himself both a Suicune and an Azelf. We arrived How is Alpharin so freaking lucky with legendaries? I shouldn't even be surprised. But all the rest of our Oh my god. For both of us. And Claire had a Mewtwo as well. I think we were good trainers. So we talked to the old man behind the gym and he's like, "So do you beat your Pokémon?" And we're like, "No." And he's like, "Awesome. Claire, give him the stupid badge." What? So now Hey guys, I think you should go fight a horde of Asian women in Ecrotique. Uh, uh, so we enter the Ecrotique yeah, the Komodo girls. And start fighting the women, and the second girl for me sends out Ambipom. As I switched to Franklin, it screeched, which I <clears throat> uh didn't pay attention to, <coughs> and Ambipom double hit killed Franklin. No, our starters died. Oh. <sighs> That was really sad. We were about to make it to the Elite Four with them, and bam. Oh, no. Not alive anymore. They were with us through everything. Pretty much the backbone to our teams. Jaden? Jan's gonna make so much fun of us when he finds out. As we're still mourning, the last Kimono Girl rest spams with Waylord. Oh. Uh. have any dignity, woman? We're uh. lamenting over here. We try to leave. Oh, my God. Like, no, no. Go catch the legendary Pokemon. Uh, He's already got three, so I had to. He's got a whole bunch. Scales the bell tower. And what <laughs> legends do we find? The legendary Zangoose and Loudred. Finally, we have some. I didn't know there were legendary Pokemon. This whole time. To head to Victory Road. What <laughs> pops up from the bottom of the lake? But uh, Entei himself. And Doduo. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Hello, Dode. There we go. It's going in the box because fire types. We catch oh, no. in Victory Road and heading towards the exit. What's he doing with a Regirock? And I, I <laughs> say, this is your last 
chance to kill one of our Pokemon, Jan. And what happens? <laughs> Uh, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> no. He does exactly that. Oh. That's not oh bad. my god. One of our Pokemon. Yeah, that sucks. You but reap what you sow. Starfell was an incredible pair we've had oh, God, we man. We lost quite literally <laughs> half our team right before the Elite Four. Yeah. Mm, we beat Jan for the last time and turned the Indigo Plateau. Oh my god. And immediately bolt to the PC to see what kind of damage control we can do. After a very long time of trying to stitch together the best teams possible, we yeah. ended up with this. You Mary gotta... Mary Empoleon, oh. Meryl Nidoqueen, Beautifly Cradley, okay. Dario Ente, and Victory Bell Mewtwo. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I know. Wow, Jaden. Super balanced. You've got Mewtwo and Ente and Jacob has a Beautifly. <laughs> The rules are reversed. Tell him, Jacob, tell him. Anyway, big deep breath. Here we go in yep. the unknown depths of the Elite Four. Here we go with the Pokemon yeah, League. Bruno were all no problem at all. We breeze right past them. Everything oh. was going great. This is fine. All right. Oh, yeah, he's, oh. oh, wait. No, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's fine. <sighs> okay. On the other hand, Karen was not as nice. Uh, <laughs> uh Okay, he just did crop chop. He's dead. Fine. Oh no. No 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 no. Paranoid. Oh my god. You can't afford to lose Pokemon. <gasps> <gasps> oh no. That means Horente is gone. You killed in the first like 15 minutes of having you. We ended up getting out of the battle with Oh the no. Facing Lance with a team of 4 each is really not ideal. To say the least. Y yeah, no kidding. To him nonetheless, whether we win or lose here, <laughs> this is our last battle. Oh, here we go. Leon and Ledian, which we were both like, ha ha ha. Okay. Lance, is this all you've got? And then he hits us with the no. Jacob was up against his Porygon Z, Rampardos, Licky Licky, Zapdos, and Plusle. And okay. A pretty stacked team. He was holding his own and getting through them really well. Okay, okay, okay. I was dealing with a Giga impacting Snorlax, which I really had nothing for. Uh oh. He had to pray for no crits and as many misses as possible. It goes down eventually, and what does he send out next? Uh oh. Palkia. <laughs> Oh, Very fitting for a Dragon Master. Use Salamence right about now. Uh oh. We believe Palkia so much during our journey here. Looking at my team, I don't have anything that can handle Palkia <laughs> either, except for Mewtwo. And legendary vs. Legendary. He gets Spatial Ren crit one shot turn one. I am in a lot of trouble. <sighs> I took so much time getting past Snorlax that Jacob was already done with his battle, so Are you all I could do was watch this match. That lucky bastard just once I again. I to confuse Stalem and just try to chip away at him with basically nothing. And my god was I lucky because if Palkia hit one oh. at any point, Dilly Doo and the run was over. Yeah. I was forced to dance on that line for a <laughs> long time. <But> eventually, <laughs> Dilly Doo lands the finishing blow. Thank I was so god. Proud. The pair that we caught so early on and deemed as death fodder was the one saving us. Yes. I'm sorry for doubting you, Dilly Doo. Thank you for sticking by us. And not there we go. That was only half of Lance's team, might I remind you. Oh, Plus, that's only half? Slash, which stung, but Bastiodon came out, tanked Plap's surf, and killed him with Metal Burst. I was oh. in shock with that one. That was our <gasps> second oldest pair. Ever since our Frank oh died, my God. and I both started seeing the Plaps as our star members. Beryl came out and revenge finished the Bastion. Okay. Broke his face. Was big ol' hard-hitting, tanky frickin' Azumar. Oh no. I sent Dilly-Doo back out because Beryl would die immediately. And started the chipping game again. If that wasn't bad enough, Azumarill set up the rain and an aqua ring for itself. Oh no. To turn this fight from, uh, to, ah, uh, this awful one-on-one -on -one lasted ten whole minutes. I slap him, he slaps back, much harder, and then heals, and then I Of course. Heal, eventually, Dilly Doo wins the Stalin. What would Lance be without his full restore spam? An unpredictable turn of events. Dilly nice. From utter defeat. What an adventure we just went on. Okay. Insane encounters, insane bullcrap, friends, death, bullying, <sighs> and the Dilly Doos. Thanks for going on this journey with me, Jacob. Good job, Dilly Doos. You did it. You. And a salute to the buddies we made along the way. Yeah. Except you. 
<laughs> she really hates Frostlass. And I guess that's it. Okay, and I, I really love the nice touch to uh, to the ending here because this is exactly like the ending that you would see out of the Gen 2 games once you beat them, right? And she does the credits, like, in the same fashion. Wow. I have to say, <laughs> definitely, definitely... This was well worth the wait. Like, oh my god. I absolutely loved this video. Like, beyond a shadow of a doubt. The end! <laughs> oh my god. That was... That was incredible. I just... I'm at a loss for words. Like, this is beyond incredible. Holy moly. Wow. Wow. This definitely was a plus 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 content, just like everything else about her channel. Very, very nicely done there, Jaden. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's evaluation time. Let's get into my thoughts post-reaction, and oh my god. Going into this, I was not expecting this two-player Nuzlocke to be completely and utterly randomized. Like... That right there just upped the stakes and the wow factor by 10,000%. Like, holy cow. Now, another thing that really stuck out about this video would be the insane luck that Alpharet has had throughout that two-person run. He had legendaries, he had easy gym battles, like, oh my god. Like, that right there is just some crazy-ass luck. Almost to the point where I started to feel sorry for Jane because... She was unlucky throughout the majority of their run. Now, another part that really got me would be when they went to the Lake of Rage to encounter the shiny Pokemon that was raging, and Jaden bloody kills shiny Paneri. So that technically, I guess, could be called a shiny fail, even though they weren't shiny hunting. A shiny fail is a shiny fail, and because she killed shiny Paneri, that's a shiny fail right there. And on the note of fails, what about the point where Alpharad wasn't even paying attention? He was more or less interested in his damn chicken sandwich, which ended up getting the Pupitar and Obama Snow killed because of damn Golem's earthquake. Like, that right there, it's like, come on, man. You gotta pay attention. Attention to detail, baby. But through it all, by hook or by crook, the pairing of Alpharad and Jane animations were able to come through and become the champions of the Pokemon League, but my god did Jane ever have a massive struggle when it came to battling against Lance, like, that was insane. Now those are just a few out of many things that stuck out to me in this video. The entirety of the video, long story short, was absolutely amazing and everything about it stuck out to me because it's Jaden freaking animations. I mean, just by mentioning that name, that should already be enough said, you know what I mean? But what were some things that stuck out to you guys the most when it comes to the video that we were treated to? Let me know in the comments down below and make sure you guys check out the original video and comment on it, like it, support it, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Jane really truly deserves it. Her work is absolutely incredible. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video. So I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing and especially commenting down below because I love hearing you guys out. Always have, that will never ever change, so thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night depending on your time zone, and I'll see you guys in the next one.